So I want to run through a couple of the UI tweaks that Google has uh, made to Android 2.1 uh, on the Nexus 1. You saw some of these yesterday, but I figure I'll just uh, give a, a little primer here. So the first one is, uh, as everybody's been talking about and excited about, this live wallpapers situation here. Uh, it's pretty, you know, pretty unexciting in general because it doesn't have, there's no real functionality happening here. It's just, it's just pretty looking. Um, and it seems to eat up processor cycles that you probably want going towards things like, uh, oh, I don't know, scrolling through web pages or checking your email or whatever it is you do with your phone. Um, so that's the Galaxy Live wallpaper. There's a, a broad selection. The Nexus is, is one that everybody has seen, which is some of these actually respond to touch, like this one, as you can see. Really useful. Um, and uh, I'll just put back on the one that I've been fond of, which is the polar clock. Um, pretty cool. This is actually fairly handsome. So uh, you've seen the new home stuff. They've replaced the that uh, window shade that they have and now uh, it's just a kind of a menu that the, the icon uh, application menu is just zooms in and out like this. Pretty straightforward stuff. When you scroll it has a little 3D fold at the top and bottom as you can probably see happening here. Uh, it, again it's a nice uh, visual effect. doesn't have any real functionality. They added a little bounce to this menu, which uh, is great if you like things that bounce. Uh, they've increased the number of home screens from three to five. So you can see here there's five screens to scroll to and they have these new dots, which is a kind of a combination of the iPhone and the Pre uh, or WebOS for figuring out where you are on a page. And if you press on these, if you press on these, hold on, you get a kind of a card view of all your home screens. Um, the uh, other addition is they've added a new widget, which is a weather news widget. Um, fairly, you know, fairly cool. What's actually good about the weather widget is that you can see throughout a day's time um, where the where the temperature has been has been going, which is just kind of interesting. So another place that they made changes is in the gallery. Um, it's kind of a it seems to be a, an accelerated sort of more three D experience here. Uh, clearly. Well, not clearly, but hopefully relying on the Snapdragon that's in this thing. Um, so there's a couple of different, uh, first off, you can do, you know, sort of swipe to view photos the way you would expect. No multi-touch here, of course, but they do have a double tap. Um, and then there's uh, some other display methods here, uh, like this one, which is pretty cool, kind of creates this, this uh, 3D view. Um, and you can switch to multiple sets, and it's actually... Uh, pretty cool looking way of displaying the content and uh, seems to be, like I said, taking uh, taking advantage of that Snapdragon. Huge improvement over what they used to have, uh, what you see on the Droid right now or any other Android device um, that is using stock Android. Um, unfortunately, the same can't be said for the Music app, which is depressingly exactly like um, the Music app that you've seen before. Uh, many, many times and been depressed about.